Welcome back to the sunken library. Here we have the uh, cure or valuable books, I guess. What's this? The Thing from Other Worlds, Creedum the Reaper versus the Great Enemy. This novel has been booked out by Ocular Death Hand. Will be returned on Thursday, 6th of Jugular, 2582. What's this one? Okay, come on. Motion picture book. Moving images for reference and to impress. Oh, it's valuable. Play about you. Act 1, scene 1. Scene opens inside an abandoned library. The room in question contains a set of display cases, one of which has fallen over, seemingly releasing a small jungle. A dastardly thief. Ooh, dastardly, I like that. A dastardly thief opens one of the books being stored in the room. To their surprise, it's mostly blank. Thief, under the breath. This is a play. It needs multiple people in the room to trigger properly. Thief, I will close this book and take it with me. I'm sure I can get a good price for it. The thief shuts the book and returns to robbing the rest of the library. Oh, I was... <laughs> and there's loot. I could have sworn it would uh, spawn someone else in the room to make the play <laughs> more interesting. I was, I was all prepared for that. Releasing a small jungle, huh? With moss arrow. Nice. Story of the Lucky Frog. One creature, though, named Igrina, suns itself on a leaf far above, enjoying the new jungle that had sprung up around them. Soon, however, its peace will be disturbed. It will have to explore its new environment, taking its sights. This is the story of a precious and harmless young frog. Harmless? Is it harmless? I don't know if uh, that one's bonds thing. I don't know if it's harmless. I don't know if I trust it to stay harmless. Mysteries and Murder, the full trilogy, with full magical smells, textures, and clues that come out of the page. Alright, so it's just the blood leaking out. Garrett. Thanks, Garrett. Putting yourself on the fucking display case. Oh, good thing you have that healing potion now, right? Somewhere. Blood pulled around her. Her hands were wet with it as she laughed. Yes, I killed them all, detective, she declares. And soon I will kill you as well. The detective grimaces and draws his sword. It's as I suspected then, he declares. And I will bring you to justice. If that didn't spawn the killer in the room. Well, it says the frog is harmless. We should trust what the book tells us. Books never lie, right? They always have exactly factual information in them. So where are we then? Maybe south from the servants' quarters. Is that this room? Maybe that's this room. Can't have been on the other side of this door because I would have picked it, surely. Hmm. No, I have been in there. I didn't. Did I just not notice this door? That is this room, right? Yeah, that went round to the servants. I 
Well, I'm confused by my annotations on the map then. Where was the locked room that we found the actual spell books and, and equipment in? So that... I don't know, I'm confused. I am confused. We're not in this room. But we have an attic key, we have a great key, so we can go and explore these other grates. So actually being in here is fine. We can go out the side door to the right. I should have gone when that goes. Yeah, the door just to the right there. back up to this grate and see what's on the other side of it now that we have a key. <laughs> Wait a minute. Have we just been here? Going east from here on this floor. No, we have to be in here, right? That's that's here. That's X. That's the great. And that's now no longer locked. This is the new area. I guess I know which door I'm going in first. skull. What is going on with this body? Avoiding discomfort while in the dreamlands. Journey into the mind. A visit to Carcosa. Where's the rest of their body? Vampire's key. Is this the Count? Idramish, within this box is the most important key in the entire library. This key unlocks the reliquary containing the Book of the First, as well as my own room. I entrust this key to you in case it is needed and I am un unable to attend to it. Understand that my better judgement tells me to keep this to myself, or destroy it, passing this to you as a risk. Do not leave it in its box. I want it hidden away. The Book of the First contains knowledge far more dangerous than your little room of parlor tricks upstairs. Okay. Room of Politics upstairs, which is where they uh, take people with overdue books. Oh, there is an upstairs already, okay. Thursday 28th, this year 2081. I have made the hard decision to seal the doors. To lock away this place behind a magical seal that could last a thousand years. Perhaps a bit of an overreaction, though it is a fine test of the defences. Wednesday, 5th Grim Hollow. 2581. Cagathon has fallen. I can feel it in the air. It's been almost a hundred years since the five spoke to us directly. The living are growing in numbers. Paladins and knights move over the land, purifying vampire lords and ghouls alike. The library must stand. The seal will have to hold. The eternal empire will rise again. The living have no dominion over magic, no matter what the upstart Medusi of the desert might claim. Second Dystopia 2582. Outside, the humans have built mighty siege engines. I can see that the walls of the city have fallen. Our slaves run loose into their arms. Fools, the lot of them. Their lives are meaningless next to eternity. 7th, Isiangan, 2583. It's over. The humans have taken the city. There were so many of them. The library stands only due to the wards. All our slaves have fled. The last of the vampires have left. Only ghosts and zombies remain now. But my library stands. Within this fortress, I remain eternal. 2584. It has been two years since the fall of the city outside. 
I have had little to write about. I need to find a way to escape this place, but I dare not open the doors before Kegathon's return. 2586. The dreams call. I am losing perspective of real time. The world outside is different. Our eternal nights have turned to day. The city has been abandoned. Even my own guards have fallen into simple patterns with their bones creaking into monotonous insanity. At least I have my books. 2603. Entire planets of books to read. I can fly through the air on wings of fire, explore the deepest oceans. This world is gone. It is nothing next to the world of dreams and imagination. 2608. If you are reading this, I have left you. Rest assured I still live, but I see no reason to remain here. If you are a literal vampire, I will be happy to share my knowledge. Follow in my footsteps. The Eternal Empire will rise again in the land of dreams and tales. The third is not dead. I have met him on the shores of a distant orb, and we spoke at great length. For now, though, the library remains sealed. After all, I can show you a hundred better worlds than this one. Well, okay, so... Hanger upstairs. I'm curious about what's on the rest of this... On the rest of this floor. Wait for our... Friend here to shamble away and follow him. There's other rooms. Uh... Things on the shelves. Oh, a few more flares. Okay, that's that's more flares. That's maybe good enough if I want to go uh, poking around in that lightless zone. Although I would not be surprised if they have uh, done something like um, having spiders hiding away in the absolute pitch blackness. I hope not. I hope they're less trolly than that. I don't know. It's also, I don't know if, is this their first mission? I don't know. Might be. Oop. Oh shit. Sorry man. Uh I'll just go here until he forgets about me. I thought he was going the other way, so I thought I'd... I thought I was going behind him for some reason. Foolish. It's a zombie, they forget really fast. Well, let's check the other room first, briefly. Just a toilet. Nothing in it. So no place to hide, either. Alright, this is a interesting room for sure. As you can clearly see, gnomes had both inferior bodies and minds to the other living races since their destru destruction was actually inevitable. While the loss of variety is of course tragic, in the case of gnomes, the Eternal Empire was justified in its eradication of the species. They would never have been able to work alongside us, and their bodies made for poor slaves. Ultimately, their destruction brought Kagathon wealth, notor notoriety, and most importantly, served as an example to other demi-human and mortal races. The Hobgoblin Empire to the southeast has ceased aggression towards us in fear of what our unholy lords might have chosen to do next, if they persisted. 
Oh, yes. Let us commit genocide as a lesson to everyone else. Very good moral justification there. Very good. Right. Keep the books here as well, huh? Oh, I can hear... Okay. We'll check the other doors. Let's look at the shelves. The full life cycle of a white dragon from observations of living specimens. A spring coming from here. I don't know where it's coming from. Slowball version. Okay. It seems to be coming from there. Is it this door then? Or is it just. What? Yes. Oh, it's locked. Oh, wait, that's. I know where that is. Right. Don't I? No, that's north. facing northwest. That's this door. It's gotta be this one. Ah, so where, yeah, yeah, this, this is this room. So these are both locked as well, right? And we can't pick it. I don't have the key. Unless... Vampire's key, but no. Uh, and this one's also locked. Yeah, okay. So we got through here, so that needs a key as well, and that needs a key as well. Okay. So we might have to go through that grate to get to this zone, I don't know. Because... Was there any other... Oh, well, this is the attic. We can go up to the attic, of course. We wait for our shambly friend here to come and go again. And follow him back. Be careful when I was flickering white that I'm standing in. I don't want to be seen. Uh, 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 I think the grave is probably the yeah. Uh, Best way to double back behind him. Uh... Well, what is secrets does the attic hold? Those horrific <laughs> things take place here. That just scared me. I hear more spiders too. Okay, I've got three more broadheads. Actually, let's leave that open. Ow. Wait for it to calm down. comes in this corner, I'm in trouble. spiders. Add that I'm the tension of ghosting on top and it really makes me anxious for some reason. Let's just chill for a bit until until they until they calm down. Hmm. 
course, they might not calm down. Here's the problem with enemies that discover bodies on a very short patrol route is they don't tend to calm down ever. And this tends to cause a lot of problems for players. Well, I'll give it a minute. It depends on how well I can see the body, basically. It's not super bright, so it might calm down. Otherwise, I can just go up and try and murder it, I guess, with a big stab. Backstab is going away. Worth a shot. That one seems to have gone further away now. So maybe it will come down enough. Nope, he's just got a lot of blessing yet again. First of all, unnecessarily so. Holy one, okay. So, yes, yeah, fine. Like, that's not. That's just ordinary spiders. It's just. That's my problem, not the mission's problem. It's not being nasty with them, it's not being troll, it's just not like dropping a spider on your head or anything like that, like some missions have done. What happened here? My torso? Turned into a... put into a statue? What? Close examination of the subject revealed that he is not, in fact, alchemically turned to stone. Instead, underneath a moderately thin layer of stone, the subject's flesh remains intact, but in stasis. Breaking the subject out is impossible without killing them when using conventional means, as the stone is bonded to the flesh in a way similar to glue, and any blow sufficient to shatter the stone casing will also do severe damage to the skin and bones of the subject. Still, in theory, a lesser version of the flesh to stone spell could be utilized to create a thin coating over a victim's body acting to trap them without destroying their ability to speak. Alternatively, I could form a protective layer over certain parts of the body, perhaps without affecting the person's movement. Both paths require research. I will need to skewer more subjects. Thankfully, people have a bad habit of not returning my books, so that should not be a problem. Blast. With the growing war, I cannot continue to consume subjects with this. I have sent my draft of stone skin to the nearby academy, but for now, further research will have to be put on hold. It's infuriating. If I had but a week longer, I could have found a way to turn my statues into undead golems of immense power. As it stands, this body will remain. This book will remain sealed until the threat of these humans is dealt with. Attic key. Okay, so there must be another way in here, other than the way I came in. Seems to be anything there.
Burner still running? Hello? Oh, that's uh... Room for naughty people. Alright, more healing. I'm, I did not want to pick up the hammer. God, I wanted to pick up the poker. A barrel for even more naughty people. I see. More spiders. Well, this one I can deal with. Or not. Missed. Let's let's leave it to calm down and see what's through here. Oh. There's some strange ghosts down there. Okay, that's a part of the library I've not been in yet. Alright, well hold on. Hold on, wasn't there another door this way that I haven't explored? Yes. Fire arrows could come in very handy. Bending vision. The definitive guide to seeing around corners. Useful. Thought I heard a cray there. What time is it? It has to be six o'clock and stuck. Destroy your research. It's clearly bad research. Bad magical research, but bad magical people. Okay, I'm going to suggest this door is the one with the spider on the other side of it. No? Apparently yes. Yes. Oh! Hang on! Oh, I'm a fool! I snuck around behind this guy to get the vase off that uh, table there. And I never noticed the ladder on the way out. Okay. So I could have gone into the attic this way. Alright, at least I know another way out of the attic. So then that other grate. Does that go in here or does that go somewhere else? Don't know. Okay. That's the ghosts. This is a spider. It should be calmed down now, so I can have another go at murdering it. There we go. Problem solved. Alright, loot, loot is building up. We are getting closer to our loot goal. Ah, oh, this is the other grate. This is the, exactly the other grate. Yep. Okay. Oh, let's leave that shut. Okay, so that's the cray. So, oh. Going around in circles. Quite literally. This is the way we need to make, to go to make progress, I guess. Now, I want to put that light out, but I don't know if it's going to work. Stay away from there. 
Jimmy. Music potion, alright. There's a ladder. You know what? I think this is definitely a place where a repair will come in handy. Oh. They're books. Just looking at the overhang. Wondering where the best place for a rope is going to be for getting back out. Probably here. I mean, are these the books we need? Can we read these books? Do we try and destroy them? I don't know. What do we do about them? Just avoid them? Avoiding them is hard because they, uh... I mean, what does a book do? What does a magic book, flying book, do if it sees you? I don't think I can stealth my way past these. If stealthing is an option. I'm gonna run out and see if, see if I actually get seen by them. Oh, they shoot fireballs. Okay. Good, good. Good to know. Alright. Scared of me? Well, I guess that proves the sword is mightier than the pen after all. Who would have guessed? I'm kind of waiting because fireballs are not really a thing I can manage. There's one more in that room. Which may be alerted by the sound. The fall of the Eternal Empire is inevitable on its current path. However, this can still be prevented. Fresh leaders must be moved into positions of power. While immortal, the five are no longer operating at full capacity. They need revitalization, and that means moving on to something new. Note that this paper is not an attack against our leaders, but merely statements of facts about how the Empire works, as well as the condition we all share in being undead. To ignore my words is to let the living rise to power once more. Now, internal Empire is less eternal than they might have thought. So I guess the, at least one of the individuals is surely still alive. Okay, can I pick this? No, and I don't have a keeper, right? 
This is the eastern side. That's gotta be. No, we're not in this room. This door, maybe? Yeah, that door was locked with the key. It's gotta be that one. Maybe the key is in here. have been well hello librarian's key are you a librarian or were you a librarian full history of the dark tapestry the book of untold stories this book has an eye growing out of it that's watching me book of eternal sight okay oh Oh, right, the librarian's key will let us open these doors, is that right? Right, yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep them locked, because if anything bad goes, I don't need craze. It goes down, I don't need craze coming in to make things worse. Carnier to love, the creation of souls. The eternally up-to-date book of dwarven history. It's getting bigger. Spirits of the Fire Starters. Oh, someone wanted that one there. Uh, there, are these pickable? I mean, that is a really long book. We can read the start and the end. How about that? Early dwarven history started during the days of the fortress. It is unknown how the dwarves reached the port, as the Grand Wizard did not willingly bring them here. So far, the belief is that they must have travelled to Ganath on their own power, perhaps through magic. If this holds true, then this would explain why throughout early history, dwarves were a constant source of disruption and change. It's their actions that some scholars claim brought about the downfall of many early nations. While the Great Fortress fell to the Great Enemy, the Great Enemy fell in the last Great Sky War. The Retinas were also believed driven to extinction by the dwarves. An impressive feat for sure. Critical events in year 4390. Lord Lakefire has taken command of the Dwarven military. Reports say he is training troops in an attempt to prepare them for a war with Aton. Grogheim has signed a peace treaty with the Orcs. The Retinas make ownership claim on Frenton. Dwarven government call in external mediators to deal with crisis. The Retinas then withdrew a claim over Frenton. The Dominion formally requests destruction of Steel Dawn artifacts kept within Iron Hall. Okay, well that's the history of the dwarves. I don't know if that's dwarf fortress references or not. I don't know dwarf fortress. Or it might just be entirely separate, or it might be something entirely other re references. Right? Where creation distals will be difficult. This is not really going to be readable, is it? Well, I don't think I need the skulls. What was this book about? A practical demonstration demonstration of horrific supernatural blight. It's valuable, I don't want to read it. And uh, yeah, those are horrific and really supernatural. What was this one called again? Full History of the Dark Tapestry. Let's read the history. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's our loot goal. Does this give me eternal sight, or is this just a book I could sell? Eyes are nothing more than gateways to the person who possesses them. As you read these words, so too do the words read you. You gain their power. And so too do they gain power over you, spreading to your mind. In this way, language can be viewed as symbiotic, or even parasitic in nature. Mankind, and indeed the other races, cannot help but heed words. In this way, a human who cannot resist reading words just because they exist, 
is, in fact, a vulnerable person both to mundane misinformation and magical suggestion. Books are viewed as trustworthy and true. After all, a person could be mistaken, but a book is fact until proven otherwise. Speaking of which, please, kind thief, take me with you. I contain a great deal of information, both true and fantastical. That knowledge should be shared. Sell me to a bookstore. I must spread. I must spread. I must spread. Let my words enlighten you. Let me free. Let me out. Very well. And this is what we came here for, right? The Book of Untold Stories. This is our primary objective. I have not found the Book of the First Lich, which the Count... I guess the Count? Where is the Count's room? The Count's room is locked with his key, and he has a reliquary with the Book of the First Lich, so we need to find that out. And we need to find the book about traffic. Hmm. Maybe the count is down among the spiders, actually. Well, I was thinking about the dragon's lair and just like. The dragon's lair was. There was a book about it, right? It wasn't that the dragon's lair was here, it was the book gave information about it that we could sell to uh, possible treasure hunters. Okay, I don't need to leave the rope here then. So I can readily come out through these other doors. Librarian's key, librarian's key. Right, yeah, they've been in this room. And the librarian's key is also going to unlock... Well, that's our zombie friend. Where's the other doors? Librarian's key should unlock the other, right? Oh, this is the top floor here, which I have not explored. Oh, we have perhaps an area there that's reachable. Hmm, well, this way seems more plausible. Oh, there's, there's something valuable on the table there that I want. Try some acrobatics, shall we? Go quite as planned. Like, oh shit. I thought I'd be safe up there. Okay. Okay, well, I'm safe here. I did not expect him to be able to climb up the dragon. I thought it'd be sheltered by the dragon's wings. Yeah. Uh, they're all here and they're all angry. Not a problem. <gasps> okay. Right, I want to be over the other side. Get on top of here. And then go try going up one level. this looks important try and stay low out of the range of these magical trails so this is not working the damage dealt to the anchor is mostly superficial as long as you get it repaired sometime in the next century or so you have nothing to worry about 
I must, however, question why you continue to keep this critical piece of magical apparatus somewhere so vulnerable. I know there were fears of the basement flooding, but truthfully, in its current location, this device is exposed to any curious vampire, ghost, or spectre that chooses to fly up here. Or thief that chooses to climb up here. Nice to decahedron. So what is going on with this device? What is it about? What is its purpose? There's three magical anchors. Crystals. Invisibility potion. Some more moss, which is maybe not relevant to me. Just an empty toolbox. Well, I don't know what this thing is or what it does or how deal with it, or if there's anything I can deal with it. Anything I can do about it. Where did I leave my rope? Well, all right. Uh... Magical thing. Don't know if it's relevant to me. And this is right up here, right? Okay, so we've got that. We've got that key now, basically. We've been to the overdue books in our thick area. Uh, Hunt's key. I don't know. We have to explore the hole in the basement. So we haven't been in that area. Maybe that's the count. Oh, if that's the count area, then I have the key. And that will make sense. You know, he's a vampire would like to live in the basement, right? Still haven't been exploring here, so maybe that's where I should go now. I think if I've been in this entire area, then. Right, so we're on this floor. What's the best way down? I guess go back through the grate and uh, down the stairs is, is the best, it's the simplest way. Uh, this way is the grate. Just wait for the zombie friend to come along and turn around and go back. My thoughts exactly. So I want to go down the stairs. There's this guy that comes up them, so I'm gonna wait for him. I can hear the frog here. It's a surprise. Just 
So this is the door to the servants area. Okay. Unimportant scrolls. That's the guy hanging up by the window. Somebody else comes through here. I'm just kind of waiting, waiting to see when and where. <laughs> and you know what? We might as well do that relatively safe position. Here's one of them. Oh well, there's another. Okay. Where did that first guy go? Maybe the first guy went up goes upstairs. Yeah, that would explain it. Okay. Ready for blood. A family friendly tale of murder. Suspect 87, Kekathon Times bestseller. World of Suspect 87, a writer's bio and extended lore information. Okay, and that's just the front entrance, right? Yeah. stuff. So this is one way we could have come inside by murdering this guy or knocking him out. And it provides us nothing more than just a possible entrance. Okay. Knocked over pot plant. Very cool. Follow this guy out. Oh, this is a bad room to be stuck in. Almond Flights, the destroyer of worlds. Which way does he go when he comes out there? Still here, a frog friend. I think I'm hearing the guy going down the stairs there. Right. So maybe that hole in the stairs was looking into the room of the prop. Maybe I didn't look through the hole. This guy's on a long patrol pass. Right, he goes round. It's good for me. Aha, another great. We can check that out in a second. else here just a nice fireplace okay so maybe this is gonna get me where I need to go without me having to run all the way around oh another great key 
25th of June, 2581. She walks over my head again. I am now certain she's one of my descendants. That is the only way she could be so perfect, to think she considers herself little more than a servant. Soon I will present myself to her as her true master, and she will have no choice but to obey me. As for these two fools who she currently serves, I shall send them back home with their tails between their legs. I will be her sole master, and then I will transform her. She will become something beyond human, something that will make even the gods tremble in fear. 28th Dusty of 2581. The library has been sealed. That paranoid fool, Idrimish, has separated me from my beloved. Curse that bitch. They think a few human rebels will block me from my goal. 7th Grim Hollow, 2581. Still, the doors are closed. The idiot locked herself inside and won't let anyone in. She thinks she can keep us apart forever. I will take whatever steps necessary to see my love again, even if it means destroying this place. If I must destroy every single other living and unliving being to bring her into my arms, then that's what I'll do. 18th Grim Hollow, 2581. I found a way out through the sewers. Farewell to the fool above. Her library can rot for all I care. I will not be kept away. My lady awaits me below. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is the vampire's lair, is it? I forget his name. Just a convenient barrel of explosives in case you need it. And a friendly head. Don't look at me that way, just stare at the wall. It's more comfortable. I am happy to confirm that your cylinder is indeed of our creation. It is an ancient but important piece of text. I would offer a sizable amount of gold for it, if only to get it back in the hands of those who can appreciate it. As for a translation, simply run your tendrils along the outside and feel the bumps present along- Oh, sorry, you don't have tendrils. Clearly you are a less evolved being than we are, and your mind would never comprehend the contents anyway. My apologies. It's not your fault, but any attempt to understand the text is as doomed as an attempt to teach a sheep to build a house. Your mind simply is not, and never will be, ready. Blood is valuable, so... I will take it anyway. Seems quiet enough. Small great. Yep, this is the vampire's sleeping quarters, clearly. Here is the library key, as promised. It will unlock the front door, assuming it isn't sealed, as well as giving access to the secure rooms on the top floor. Obviously, use proper caution while storing it. I have tortured and killed people for losing keys that are far less important than this one. Itramish. <laughs> well, okay. We have another copy of it. Just put it in a box. I, I love how they both told each other, well, take very great care of this key and then don't leave it in this box. You know, store it, hide it well, and they just both just carelessly left it next to the note. Okay, so this is going to be the Count's key. Uh... Vampire's key. Right, we've been here. This does not answer my question as to the uh... hmm. the hole in the floor. Oh, we're in the basement now. There's two locked doors, right? That's one of them, that's where we are. So if I go out the way this guy came in, we should maybe be able to unlock the other one. We've got a lot of keys now that we didn't have before. Ah, this is will be his reliquary with the book of the first lich. Let's see, let's make sure we're not disturbed. And let's make sure we're not disturbed by the angry guys with the swords. These two guys maybe will inevitably disturb us. Hmm. I have water arrows, let's put them to use.
Let's grab the loot first. And then worry about the book. Quietly, quietly. Is any of this valuable? Oh, this is the hole in the floor. This is the hole in the floor. Okay. Question is, I mean, I've got an invisibility potion as well. Oh, I thought he said it was the key to the to the reliquary. Uh, he said it was the key to the reliquary. Maybe he was lying. A vampire is allowed to lie. I can pick the lock. Okay, fine. I don't like the way that book is looking at me. It's the second one to be looking at me today, but this time without actual eyes, which makes it more disturbing. Alright, I might need to get out of here in a hurry, I don't know. Maybe this book is something bad. Nope, it's just, just a book. To not trigger any anything. Uh, oh, he, he saw me. Okay. Oh, that's all right. He's, he's lost me. Well, okay, where am I going then? The book about Dralfic. You know what? The zombie friend is still looking for me. What I just realized is this gets us Next us to the sewers. So, you know what, let's just be noisy. They'll forget it. Forget I was there soon enough. There was the other place in the sewers that we needed to go to, right? Spider hole. That was access from the sewers, wasn't it? Oh, this is the skull man. Big skull man. The room that's there's water arrows down there, so that room has got to be accessible somehow. I don't know how. There's our friend upstairs. Oh, there's this this one way drop I never did. I guess now is the time. I guess this is going to take us to where those water arrows are, right? Oh, there's a chest. Is it loot? That's plenty of air, so that's not a problem. Rip arrow, okay. That's a way out of this water. Let's go back the other way first. Right, this is the room with the water arrows, right? And oh, there's a bunch of flares. Okay. Okay, that's that's what I'm gonna need. So now we've got 16 flares. That was 10 flares in there, I think. And that's a dead end. All right. So that's good. So I was worried about the pitch black area, but now 16 flares is definitely enough to spend exploring better. Oh, this is the wrong way. So I guess that's where we're going now. I guess that's where we're going to find the book about graphic. I hope. I don't know why it would be there. I don't remember what the... Uh, uh, Objective said about it, but that's really the only only thing left for us to do. Oh, what? Is this just part of the series I've been to, or is this a new part? I've been here. Hmm. 
I'm a little confused. Oh yeah, this is, this is just where I was. Right, that's that where I dropped down. Okay. They could have gone there ages ago. For some reason I didn't... Right, this is the way down. So that's where I need to go. Alright. Why did I never pass this as... Oh, I saw this and I didn't realise there was a ledge that I'd be able to climb back out of the water with. I guess I just wasn't paying too much attention. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We have copious flares. We can... Uh, now better deal with pitch black darkness, right? We don't have copious broadhead arrows. But I mean, the reason for copious players is so you can throw them into the uh, darkness to see what's there. Where are we? Flare. Okay, yeah, there's a rope that I can barely see, but... I hear that one spider on the rock. It's not really a, a concern. I mean, I guess he could, if he attacked, decides to try and fight me. He might be a concern. I've only got the one broadhead, though. I mean, he could jump over here, is what I mean. Potentially. I should probably go swimming, right? I'm not getting out of here if I jump in the water in the same way. You know what, let's go for a swim down here and see what we've got. Got a lot of potions actually, I just realized. Any loot on the ground down here in the darkness? No. <laughs> oh, and copious flares, okay. Where is that spot now? There. Oh, small ones. Okay. What I don't want to do is meet a big spider in this darkness. That would not be... Not be good for my... Uh, sense of calm. Is that one spider just sitting there? Yes, it is. Well, I guess I should probably fight these guys. Oh, it's a skull, not a spider, okay. Well, there's still one around somewhere. But I don't know where. <gasps> no, 
sounds like it's right there. Oh god, this place just goes on and on. Oh god, you want me to just explore a pitch black room of spiders? <sighs> when I can only see, like, a foot in front of my face. Well, it goes up. See you there. Anyone else here? <laughs> Seems okay. Can't hear any other spiders, we're gonna risk another player. Someone said, though, this place isn't so bad for spiders. They're wrong. This is terrible. <laughs> Good. Some room full of them there. Oh, there's one there as well, okay. Is there a ledge here? It looks there's a rope, right? Oh, this is the other side of the where I came in, I see. There's a guy just sitting there in a the hole. Okay, I don't think I don't think he's a threat to me. So they can't do anything about him if, if they are. Where is this rope again? I don't know if it's pitch black here. Oh, where is it? It doesn't get me anywhere? Hi. I'm going to run out of uh, players very soon, because it's not actually... What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Yeah, I can get out. But then what? This takes me out where I came from. I can't, I can't fucking see in here. This rope doesn't actually get me anywhere near. So this isn't where the book, the book about the dragon was? So what, coming in here was a waste of time or what? I don't know. I'm, I'm annoyed. Seven players left, which is not going to be enough. Get anywhere much. I'm actually gonna have to look for a hint about that book because I don't know where to go. I have no idea where to go. Uh, so I'll be back. Okay, so 
can we get here is is a waste of time. I mean, there's loot, but there's not the dragon book. For some reason, I thought the dragon book would be down here because I didn't find any sign of it in the library. Let me get back up. There's a there's a rope. Maybe. There's a ledge. And then there's a rope. No, it's gonna be another ledge first. How do I? How do we get out? Ah, oh, here we are. A pitch black rope. Very good. Okay. Enough spiders. All right, well, we made it through there. We got, I think, all the loot in there. I'm not going back if I missed some. However, what I should have realized, should have put two and two together, is that uh, we have a pretty good clue as to where the book about compilers, I mean, the dragon book, lives. Right? Because... We've been in here. Vampire's keeping it here, right. Oh, I locked it. Okay, so we are here, and I want to go upstairs, so we're heading west. I mean, we can come back through the Count's area, right? This probably the safest approach. How did we get in here? That way. Okay, okay, okay. Go. So, no one's dragon statue, right? Where would a book about dragons be except near an enormous dragon statue, I ask you? It's not there. We looked at that one already, right? Pretty sure we crept up and looked at that one already. Shit. Don't come here. I, mean, I guess I have some more moss arrows too. I can use one if I need to. Dralfik the Knowledge Seeker visited this library in 1458. Make it darker. Whoops. What have we here? Ha ha. And Dralfik, in his great majesty, descended upon the town, perched upon a tall building which creaked under his weight. He could see everything from there. Looking towards the library, he spoke his demands. He was here to expand his hoard. But he did not seek gold or gems, only pages filled with words. For him, knowledge was power. Power meant strength. Strength meant dominance. Dominance over lesser creatures meant dominion over their lands. He spoke his demands again, and the books arrived, hurried into position by the people of the town. Satisfied, Drafik grabbed the books in his talons and flew west towards Argril. 
There we go. All right. And all we've got to do is return to the street outside. So actually, we are done. Since I leave here alive. Goodbye. Wonderful spooky library. And it's time for a swim again. So that was the sunken library. We missed 150 loot somewhere. Okay, fair enough. Did surprisingly well on loot. Much better than I usually do, but I guess it wasn't superly hidden. Most of it was just uh, in uh, out of the way corners. So, very cool mission. I'm not a fan of the spider lair, but I'm glad it's optional. I didn't realize it was optional. I thought I needed to go there and then was frustrated that I didn't find what I was looking for in there, but that, well, I guess it would have been nice to have had some other hint about the dragon. Maybe, maybe just, I don't know. What can you say? Is a bloody big statue enough of a hint? I just thought it was a statue. I didn't think the book would be there, but... Uh, in a tiny little safe hidden underneath. Still seems a little strange to me, but uh, that, that's, that it was hidden like that. Well, semi-hidden like that. But uh, that's fine. Um, so that was a really cool mission. And even, like, I don't like the spider layer, but the spider layer was pretty well done. More that wasn't clear like there were enough there were enough flares to go through for sure but it wasn't clear that I hadn't missed anything and there weren't enough flares to go through to go back and spend time looking around for what I'd missed uh, if I'd missed something so it could have been a big yeah, could have been a big problem if it was just loot then it's just loot if you run out of flares in a place like that you have no choice but to reload because you just Bumble around in the dark and you can't get anywhere, or you'd fall to your death, whatever. Um, which is the problem with Zero Ambient. But, uh, alright. Not bad. Uh, not bad, Spider Lair. Very, very good library. I like. I really like the library. And all the, uh, the lore around this place and the eternal... I mean... It's weird, though, because... Intramesh? Was that the name? What happened to them? Where did they go? Was that them lying in the bed? Skeleton without legs in the bed that we saw? I don't know. They were supposed to be immortal, right? We didn't find them. We didn't have encounter them. Oh well. The vampire escaped down that hole in the floor through the sewers. That explains the hole in the floor. And went off to find his lady love so he didn't have to kill the whole world to find her. Thankfully. Alright. Excellent mission. And uh, I'll see you here soon for the next one.